So did you know that Canva AI has its own AI chatbot built right into it? It's similar to ChatGPT just for Canva and it can do some really cool stuff. I've been testing it out for a few months now and I'm genuinely blown away by what this thing can create. So let's jump right into my computer and I'll show you some of the cool things that I've been doing with the Canva AI chatbot. All right, so to activate the Canva AI chatbot, you just wanna log into canva.com and you notice up here, this is where you normally go to start a design, but what you wanna do is actually click right here where it says Canva AI. And now the chatbot is activated. This basically turns any conversation that you put in here into a design that you can create and edit. Pretty much anything you can think of that you can make with Canva, you can make with this AI chatbot. And what's great is that almost all the features I'm gonna show you in this video are available on the free Canva plan. However, they are slightly limited in the number of times that you can use them on the free plan. So let's start with something really simple here. What I will do is I will upload a photo or a picture that my niece drew. You can see it's right here, this stick figure that she drew. And I'm going to ask it to identify for me what colors were used in this drawing. It's actually going to grab the color palette for us. And of course you can do this with any design. Let's say your client sends you a logo that they have. You can upload it, see exactly what colors are used in that logo so you can use it for something else. And here you can see that it identifies for me all the colors, pretty simple. But now let's actually take this up a notch. So I've uploaded that same photo and this time I'm going to click here where it says create an image and I'm going to paste in this prompt which tells it to turn this into a real character in an animated TV show. I want it to be like 3D style or high quality 2D character while retaining the basic design of what my niece created with the drawing. And here are the results. Canva always gives you four images whenever it makes them, which is great because some of them don't turn out that well. These two on the right, quite frankly, don't look like the drawing my niece drew. These two on the left do, they look a lot closer. And I think this one looks the closest. So this is the one that I'm the happiest with. If you wanna make any changes to it, you can of course click here where it says edit and change anything you want in here. So for instance, Let's say I wanted a different background. I can click right here where it says background remover. And there we just have the character. And then I can click on background generator and say a beach at sunset and click on generate. So now the character is on the beach at sunset. So I find those features really, really helpful to really fine tune to get the image exactly the way that you want. So for instance, there's this little bit on the left here that I don't want. So I can click on edit and I can do magic eraser which is right here, and then just kind of erase all of this. And you'll see it makes it look really nice without disturbing the background. So now that that's done, let me show you another feature that I really like. Now this one is only available on the paid plan, but I wanna show it to you real fast because I really love it. It's creating video clips. So I'll click on create video clip, and this time I'll paste in a prompt that says, I want them to make a claymation style animated sequence for a children's story two characters are having a conversation and I want each character to have a distinct voice. Let's see what it comes up with. So here are the results right here. Let's go ahead and take a look and I'll press play on this. Wow, this place is amazing. It certainly is. There's so much to explore. Every time I do this, it blows me away. I just cannot believe how far generative AI has come and is able to make a video like this. It's not very long, of course, but that is seriously impressive. And the fact that it's built into Canva as well is just mind blowing. So I absolutely love that feature for making short videos that really, it's only your imagination that's the limit with these videos. Okay, let's say you're a student studying for an exam and you have all your class notes, they're a little bit messy, you don't really have them organized, and you wanna to put together some study material. Well, Canva AI can help with that. So here I have some notes for a Spanish class that I took or pretended that I took. I'm gonna go ahead and copy them and I'm coming over to Canva AI and I'm asking them to turn the class notes into interactive flashcards. And I'll paste in the notes and when we click on submit, you'll see that it created these flashcards for me that are completely interactive based on the actual notes that I gave it. So it's quizzing me right here. It says, what does hola mean? I know that means hello. There we go. And I can say, hey, that one was easy for me. And adios, that means goodbye. I might say, oh, you know, that one was a little bit harder. 
and we can go through all these different categories. So if we want food and drinks, that was on the list. So it organized that into I'm hungry, tango hombre. We can even see our score up here on the top right as well. If we wanna shuffle the cards. So just lots of different features in here. This was just really easy to make and it's a really fun interactive way to study for any exam you might have. Another fun way that I've used Canva AI is to help me come up with recipes or planning out meals, things like meal prepping. It's really great for that. And it creates really nice graphics that you can use while you're cooking your meals. So for instance, coming back into here to Canva AI, this time I'm going to use the voice chat function so I don't actually have to type. And the trick with this is you don't wanna ask it to create the graphic right away. You actually want it to create the recipe first because it does a better job if you have it write out the text first. So I'm going to tell it to create a recipe for me for overnight oats and include a shopping list with everything I need for the overnight oats. So you see right here is the recipe, exactly how to make it and the shopping list as well. So now what I can do is I can tell it to create a presentation that goes over how to create overnight oats that includes all of the information you just sent me for how to make them, the instructions and the ingredients. So here we go. Once again, you get four different designs. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up the first one right here. And you see it tells you what overnight oats are and then exactly how to make them, the ingredients that you need. You can see the shopping list right here and then the exact step-by-step -step process. Again, the key with this is you want it to write out all the text first and then create the design. Otherwise, it tends not to really get it right if you do it just in one step. Now, before we move on, if you're enjoying this video so far, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. It's a really small thing that you can do that really helps my channel out, so I'd really appreciate it. This next one I love. Anytime any of my friends have a birthday, I always now make them an interactive birthday card that's personalized with the exact message that I want. So that's what I'm gonna do right here. This card is for Sarah and I have a personalized message telling her that I miss her and can't wait to see her again later this year. And here you can see Canva AI is actually coding out this entire interactive card right here which is pretty cool because I don't know anything about coding. I've never coded anything in my entire life, but I don't need to know how to do it. As long as I can put plain text into the AI chatbot, it can do all the coding for me. So here is the first draft of it. It says, happy birthday, wishing you joy, love, and all the other beautiful things, Sarah. I can click on next. It says, make a wish, and next, and then it's a special message from me. So this is okay. I don't love it, to be honest. I don't like these next and previous buttons. So I would tell it in here what changes I wanted to make. So I might say, I don't love the next and previous buttons. Let's change them to something that says open card, and that will then go to the next page. And let's see if that looks a little bit better. All right, so this is much better. So this is like the front of the card. You can click on open card that then opens it up and you can actually see the message inside. So it's a lot more natural. It looks a lot better than the first design. And again, all you have to do to make changes is actually put in here exactly what you want. Another way I've been using Canva AI that I absolutely love is I'm using it to help me learn new topics. So I'm going to present it with something pretty challenging. I'm going to ask it to create an interactive dashboard that explains quantum physics to me like I'm five years old. And I wanted to have a lot of interactive elements to make it easier for me to learn. And this is what it came up with. So it took the explain to me like I'm five a little bit too literally, I think. It says quantum physics for kids. But otherwise, this is really, really helpful. There's a lot of interactive elements here, like are you a wave or are you a particle? Well, you can be either one, right? It kind of explains that and it's kind of a fun way of doing that. We have a lot of other cool stuff in here like uncertainty principle as well. So I can go through all this and learn some things about quantum physics in a very interactive, fun way. And you can really do this with any topic that you're interested in. And there are just so many other ways you can use this. So for instance, here I asked it to create a planning document for a charity run event and a detailed everything you would need to account for when planning an event like this. And a lot of things you might forget, but it's AI. So it doesn't forget for you and it reminds you of everything that you need. Here's another one. I had to design an invite for a 90s themed birthday party. And here is the invitation right here. So really the sky's the limit with stuff like this. You can have it design anything that you need. 
And here's another fun one. So I had a create, like if I have a photography studio and there's different pricing for all the different services that I offer, well, you can actually create an interactive website that people can come to and get an estimate for exactly what they're looking for. So if they want two hours with you and your rate is $200 and you have 20 photos to edit and you want to include a professional album with that as well, photo album, well, they can get an estimate for your services right here. And you can actually publish this and send this to clients as a website. And of course, you could just use Canva as a regular AI chatbot, just like you would with something like ChatGPT. So you can literally ask anything. I can ask it, why is orange both a color and a fruit? And it will give me a text-based response. But what makes Canva unique is that I can also have this turned into whatever I want. So I can say, create a presentation for me about the history of orange and the color orange and the fruit orange. And here we go. It took all this text-based information that it gave us and created a nice presentation about the history of orange, both the color and the fruit. So again, we're taking advantage of what Canva does best. So there you have it. Canva's AI chatbot really can design almost anything you can think of from bringing photos to life to creating interactive learning experiences. The key is really understanding that this isn't just another text-based AI chatbot. It's specifically designed to make everything visual and interactive. Now, if this opened your eyes to what's possible with Canva AI, then you're gonna love this video because I made a video where I showed you my favorite way ever to use Canva AI. And it's something I didn't show in this video. So make sure to click on this one right here. Check out the video. I know you're absolutely gonna love it if you like this video. Thanks so much for watching otherwise, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.